folks, Chris here again with making a comic video day number 23, 24, and 25. 25? Sorry for the delay, it's just been a silly few days. Uh, Friday, I kind of forgot. Please forgive me. Um, I just sort of got busy and I was like, I'll do it later, and then I forgot to do it later, and then it got to bedtime and I couldn't be bothered because I was tired. Saturday I was working and it was just, I got home, did a little bit of work, and I just wanted to chill out with my wife. So I did. So here we are, day 25. I'm updating finally. It's been busy. It's just been life busy. Um, I finally picked up some client work. Huge thanks to Dave Atsy for spreading the word, much appreciated. Um, so that's been keeping me busy. I have been doing pages. I've started lettering page one, figuring out font styles for that, um, and just testing it out. Finished, I finished the pencils on page two, yet on Friday afternoon, yesterday morning, bit of, you know, both. Um, Friday was pretty cool, ended up doing a bit of an impromptu hangout with Marty and Jeff and we did sort of like a Slimer art jam which was sort of accidental, like I was drawing a Slimer because um, I just finished drawing um, a picture of one of the characters from the new trailer and I was like, oh I'm going to draw Slimer now and I drew just like this crappy little Slimer because I was playing with the symmetry tool and the other guys were like, oh we're going to draw it too and turn an art jam and so that happened. Uh, so that took up a couple of hours. Um, and then I got into the client work. So yeah, that was pretty busy. Yesterday, again, I was working, did a little bit of work uh, that morning, again, finished the pencils, um, did my daily sketch as I have been doing every day now, which is are going well. Uh, finished the horror series today, which is cool, and I'm starting onto a new thing tomorrow. So I've already got it planned on what I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm thinking I might actually sketch them out first, just so I've got a you know, little bit solid, just to get myself ahead, to give myself more time later. Um, and then it was pretty much just sort of a chill afternoon. Um, we watched Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Um, Jazz hasn't really seen much of the, the newer trilogies, so we watched those. That was cool. And then hopped into bed and I started just planning out some more Kickstarter stuff. Sorry, I got an itchy leg. I'll be back. Okay, I'm good. Alright, so yes, did a bit more uh, Kickstarter planning. Decided I need to figure out exactly which products I want to do um, so I know what sort of advertising material I need to do for them and what designs I need to do at what specifications so I can organise printing and printing costs so I can get my final costs uh, prepared. I'm still sort of juggling between whether I want to launch the Kickstarter about halfway through the inks or whether I want to finish all the inks first. Um, I know I'll at least have the cover done um, and 50% of the inks. It would be nice to have the, th the whole thing finished but I think if I can stick to a timeline while the Kickstarter's happening, I can actually finish inking the book while the Kickstarter is happening. Because uh, the pencils will be done anyway. So maybe I can do that and say, well, at the, at the beginning of this Kickstarter, I'm 50% done. But I'll be inking it throughout the Kickstarter and updating everyone who's pledged. And then by the time the Kickstarter's finished, the book will be ready to go to print. That seems pretty logical to me. Um, that means I can get the Kickstarter done earlier and just get a bit of an idea of what the funding's gonna be like. So once the book's done, um, I'm not gonna be having to wait another month or two to get all the, you know, to hopefully get all the funding. Um, so if the book doesn't fund by the 30 days, at least I can know I can just figure out what I'm gonna need to do to make that happen. Um, and I'll already have the files to print. So um, it won't be an extra long waiting game. Um, and still, I'm only just gonna, um, try and earn the money just to pay for all, you know, the printing costs and everything as well. Try and keep it all um, as minimal as possible um, to be a successful um, Kickstarter. You know, I don't want to sort of shoot for a couple of grand uh, for the first time doing this, you know, when people don't really know me that well and um, don't know whether I can finish the project. You know, I want to sort of give them a bit of confidence in saying, you know, it's a minimal goal and I've already got a whole lot of stuff done for you. So there's a pretty good chance, if not a 90 5% chance that you're going to get the book, unlike um, some Kickstarters I've backed, I've been waiting for like 2-3 years to get the book, and that pisses me off, so I don't want to piss anyone else off. Um, I want to make sure they're going to get, you know, the physical copy in their hands. Um, yeah, so, anyway, planned the products, that was the reasoning why. 
Uh, today we went down to the Dandenong Trash and Treasure, which we've never been to. Essentially it was like one big car boot sale in a um, open um, drive-in theatre car park lot. Um, and that was cool. Uh, I've never been to anything like that. It was sort of like a market, but a little bit more um, sort of bogany, I suppose. I don't know. But within about five minutes of getting there, um, I found the original Star Wars soundtrack, which is something I've been searching for for ages. Um, and the dude slung it to me for like four bucks, which is cool. So I've got it there. Double LP. Original soundtrack from 20th Century Records. Apparently the dude's been hanging on it for like months and no one's picked it up, so he was just happy to get rid of it. And then, he gave me this, which is Star Wars and Other Galactic Funk. I haven't listened to it yet, I don't know what it's like, but this cover art is awesome and is actually really cool in comparison to what I'm doing with my book. So I think that was kind of a nice cool coincidence, so I'm pretty stoked with that. I'll have to find out who the artist is and uh, check them out online, see if they've got some more stuff. Because yeah, that's awesome. There you go. I'll put that up for a couple of seconds so you can enjoy that too. There you go. So, Star Wars and Other Galactic Funk. I'll let you know if it's any good. Otherwise, that's the day. Um, I'm going to finish off the pencils. Uh, this after, or continue on with the pencils this afternoon. Uh, I've still got about 50% of the book to finish writing. Which, I'll probably do that first. Just so I know it's done, dust, I don't have to worry about it. Done. Um, I've just been so excited to do the pencils, I've just sort of been tossing up between them all and you know, I just wanna, I just wanna draw. I just wanna draw, you know, writing's not my thing. I just wanna draw. Um, anyway, that's the update. Hope you guys have had a fantastic weekend. It's been hot here. It's gonna be a really hot week all week, so I'm probably gonna be wearing these like sort of trashy homemade singlets that I've been making, just to keep cool. Um, otherwise, I've still got plenty of work to do. I'll keep you guys updated and I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.